Hello Galaxy Commanders and all those who want to join us here. Today I want to talk a little bit about the game. We do have a lot of new players coming in and Camel is opening new servers all the time. And um, there's still people out there thinking, what is Infinite Galaxy? Should I join it? And um, also for the players that are already in the game longer, we want more people to join the game because the bigger the game gets, the more fun we will have at the end. So let's talk quickly about Infinite Galaxy, what it is um, and why I like the game. So first of all, sure, um, it's a sci-fi game. We are a commander of our own space station and um, we do have certain areas. So first we can build warships for our fleets. Um, fleets will have a flagship. There are lots of flagships in different qualities. Um, we have the typical um, rarity of everything here. So we do have legendary stuff, we have epic, epic stuff, and um, then down there we get rare stuff. We do have this for flagships. Flagships can be equipped with gear, or well, this is the same. We do have crew members. They do also exist in um, green. In green is called um, excellent here. Then we have blue, which is rare. We do have purple, um, which is epic. And then we do have our golden legendary. What I do like about all of this is you do get more than you can use. So um, like for the crew, if you take a look here, I do have a lot of crew members and um, crew members do have levels and skills, which are both um, increased individually, not at the same time. So you can have someone like this one here, um, she's level 11 and the level increases the stats and at the same time we got a level 7 skill so um, which increases the bonus from the skill all of this allows you quite some flexibility and um, adapting to your play style the same is also for flagships as you can see i'm already pretty far in the game i can I can have four fleets that I control, but um, as you saw before, I do have much more than only four flagships. So for my flagships, it is the same. We have here a level 48 flagship, but the skills, they are much lower. And you can even put one of your crew members as captain inside, and then you can put gear in this flagship. This sounds a little bit overwhelming maybe if I tell this now, but you don't have to worry. The game starts um, smaller. So when you start, you don't have to worry about all of this. It's getting introduced step by step more and more into the game. And um, there are very, very good materials already available, especially here on YouTube. There are Discord servers where people help you. and um, there's enough help to easily get used to the game. The next thing, we also have research. So research. there are different things you can research in the game Military. to make yourself stronger. The research trees are pretty straightforward. Um, you can see by the lines the requirements of the next research. So to research this one here, I needed to have these three finished. Um, and then the last thing is you can um, upgrade your spaceport with different building levels, which will allow you or enable other um, things like we have the military dock. When you upgrade the military dock, you increase the speed you do build warships. And at certain levels, you do increase the number of warship building queues. So you can build more in parallel. All of this is limited by the resources and um, these gathering resources is one of the two main parts of the game. 
So gathering resources can be done by sending out your fleets either to planets or to asteroids and gather the resources there. You send them out, a few hours later they come back and bring you resources. Um, depending of your system there will be different resources available. And um, like here we do have a nickel asteroid, so you can send your fleet there to gather resources on this asteroid. The other thing you can do is you can fight pirates. Every time you fight a pirate you will get some resources from these pirates. And then the last thing is there are also planets where you can send some fleets and you can gather resources from these planets. Um, these are the PvE options to get resources. You can also attack other bases. So um, you can go somewhere in the galaxy. Um, we have a lot of systems in the galaxy, so there are also a lot of players. And um, you go out, not to your allies, you go somewhere different. You choose um, a spaceport that seems interesting to you. And okay, this would be also an ally. You can scout them. And if they have a lot of resources, you can decide to attack them and get their resources. I do really like these options. PvP is not required. Um, you can develop very well without PvP, but you have to be careful or you have to be in a good alliance to avoid getting a victim of PvP. So uh, make sure that you find a good alliance. This is the best protection from getting attacked. And um, then you will mostly work for events. We do have quite a few events um, going on at the moment. Alien spirits allow you to summon alien spirits that you can attack for additional rewards. There are also um, a lot of events that have to be done in your alliance. The purity protocol is one of these events. You get pretty good rewards. Um, for many of these events you do get individual rewards depending on your performance and alliance rewards depending how your alliance performs compared to other alliances. And um, very important to note is the publisher of the game, Camel, they are introducing new features around twice a month at the moment, I would say. There's two patches coming out usually every month, so every two weeks we get a patch. Um, tomorrow will be the next patch. We will get um, some additional things that we can do in our alliance. At the moment we can um, do alliance research. We can help other players with their buildings, so the time the buildings need to finish gets reduced. And um, then there are some yeah, missions, you can get additional rewards and resources here. And there's an alliance shop where you can buy some stuff that is refreshed every day. So from tomorrow on there will be more things that can be done in the alliance. And one thing I didn't talk about is a campaign. This is a complete, yeah, separate game mode, you could say, which is um, done solo. Only you can do the campaign by yourself. Your alliance or anyone else cannot help you there. So you can choose a flagship. You choose any kind of these um, campaign stages. And then you can progress through the campaign in um, isometric battle. This is the only battle where you do have some control over the fight itself. Um, all other battles in the game, they do um, go completely automatically. The line, uh, the campaign battle, like this one here, you can control your flagship and you can summon reinforcements after you kill a certain number of enemies and they will stick with you. But um, yeah, as I said, this is the only game mode that allows you to control any of the fights. All the other fights, they are 
completely automatic. So you send your fleet somewhere and um, it will come back victorious or it will fail. Um, you can also attack together with your alliance members, one target, they can join your fight or you can set up a rally and you all go there together. There are daily alliance um, tasks that can be done for additional rewards. Um, and yeah, I think that sums up the game already pretty complete. Um, I do like that you can do PvP, but it's not required to progress in the game. Most of the progress is done via PvE. You can get a lot of resources if you do PvP, but um, you have to be a little bit clever because else you will lose quite some power doing that. Then I do love um, the variety of the crew members with all the different skills. I do really, really like what they did with the flagships. All these flagships are completely different. They are, um, yeah, legendary and usually um, you will also have um, an epic version of the flagship. So these are, yeah, more or less the same. But the flagships itself, if you compare all the flagships in the legendary class or if you compare all the flagships in the epic class, they are really different from each other. They um, will um, have different play styles and um, they will also be used in different situations. Very, very clear um, it is when you look at flagships like the Achilles here or um, even if you look at here the Argo, these ships, they are made for gathering resources. Um, they increase the resources you can get from planets and um, they are also, yeah, very different and you would not use them for any fights. Okay, what did I leave out? Um, there are daily missions, but I have to say this game is not requiring a lot of farming. You can do around like half an hour in the morning, half an hour in the evening and do everything that must be done in the game. Um, you can also spend quite some additional time um, and play the game as long as you want. There um, are no limitations and there are always some pirates that you can kill or some alien spirits that you can summon if you want to. Sure, we do have um, the option to spend money, but as the game is very um, focused on alliance and um, you cannot really win the game alone, it is not as pay to win as other games. I honestly even think it is one of the least pay to win games I played in a long, long time. Um, because even if you get someone who spends thousands of dollars in the game, he's not getting anywhere. Sure, he can do things better than someone who doesn't spend money, but um, it's not like that his alliance or he will win everything. This is more depending on um, the people, how they play together, how they participate, if they participate all together in these events and um, then also a little bit of skill and knowledge about the game. So um, I think that's a very important part for me too. It's not a pay to win game. There might be people who think differently, but um, I played a few games and this one is really not like completely pay to win. So I also like this. Um, it is fun. It is so far I'm playing since November last year and um, still having fun. There are still new things coming out that um, I can enjoy. Sure, you never will be happy with everything that happens in the game. There are always some things you do like, other things you don't like as much. But overall, um, I think this is a great game and um, it is still continuing to grow. The community is amazing. This is probably one of the best communities in these games I ever met. I really enjoy playing and creating content for this game um, just because the community here is amazing.
So if you think about trying out the game, I can only recommend try it. It is a lot of fun. Um, watch a few of the videos. You can check my channel. I do have some free to play videos covering the first week of the game. I do have how to videos. I have videos about what you should not do. I can highly recommend you watch these very, very early when you start playing. Um, they will avoid you to do some things that will cause you a lot of frustration later. And um, then just give it a try. Join us on Discord. Um, the link is in the description. And um, I hope to see you in the game and um, on the next videos.